No one in the world is immune to the struggles of life. However, these difficult times are relative to each person's experience. While a romantic breakup may seem like the end of the world for one person, someone else may be struggling to put food on the table. One of the most challenging universal struggles is losing a parent or a loved one. Death is inevitable and can cause a lot of grief. This overwhelming emotion is dealt with in different ways by different people. For one young woman, she coped with the death of her father by sending text messages to his old phone number. And then one day, four years later, she was shocked to receive a reply. The relationship between a father and a daughter is one of the strongest that you'll find. Sayings such as daddy's little girl are used around the world to describe this special bond. In fact, studies have shown that a healthy relationship between a father and a daughter greatly affects the child's cognitive and social development. Brittany's relationship with her dad was the perfect example of how important and special the role of a father figure is. There are certain milestones in life that a father is expected to be at. Many girls' dream wedding involve their father walking them down the aisle. Other girls look forward to having their dad attend their college graduation or watching their baby be rocked to sleep by its grandfather. Celebrating these milestones without the presence of a loving father can feel incomplete. This makes losing a parent particularly painful, as you're reminded of their absence during each milestone celebration. Brittany and her father had a very special bond. The pair were as thick as thieves and would spend hours laughing and creating memories together. They always had each other's backs and were the epitome of how a father-daughter duo should behave. Some of their most special memories involved watching sports games together and going to the skating rink. Brittany was a daddy's girl and his presence in her life was not only valuable, but was also irreplaceable. The mind of a young child is innocent and harmless. Everything seems like rainbows and butterflies and the worst thing that can happen is that you drop your ice cream off the cone. Brittany's relationship with her father was perfect and she couldn't possibly fathom anything bad happening to him. Like every other young girl with big dreams, she expected her daddy to be right beside her. Unfortunately, life had a very different idea. Life was smooth sailing up until the time that Brittany was a teenager when her father unexpectedly died. With his passing, she lost one of her closest friends and her father figure role model. In her grief, Brittany found a rather unconventional way to cope with the loss. Every morning when she woke up and every night before she went to bed, Brittany would send a text message to her father's phone. In these messages, she would wish him good morning or good night and share snippets of news about her life. She did this for four years and then something crazy happened. This method of coping with grief seemed to be a good one for Brittany. It allowed her to maintain a close relationship with her father despite his death. When the fourth year anniversary of her father's passing came around, she prepared to type him a long message. On this day, she was missing her father a little bit more than usual and started typing a long message. She planned to fill him in on all the things that had happened in the last four years, never truly expecting him to receive the text. Brittany starts off her text message describing how much she's missed her father. Not a single day had gone by that her thoughts didn't wander to how different her life would be if he was still alive. She then explains how she'd beaten cancer and managed to stay healthy over the years, taking extra care to look after herself. Brittany filled her father in on how she'd graduated college with honors, had her heart broken, and had to rebuild broken relationships. The young woman went on to tell her father that despite the hardships that had grown her into a stronger woman, she was still the feisty, ambitious girl that he left behind. She drives her mama crazy every day, keeping her on her toes, and hopes to have children of her own one day. All in all, Brittany's father would have been a very proud dad, and then she shared a very heartfelt message. Sometimes it takes the loss of something to realize how truly special it was in the first place. Brittany's message suggests that she'd missed out on some opportunities to spend time with her father. Brittany mentions an apology in her loving message to her beloved father. She apologizes she wasn't there for him when he needed her the most, and talks about her fears of getting married without him there by her side. Despite the heavy tones that underlay her apology and regrets, Chastity signs off the text message with a few lighthearted words. After all, it wouldn't be a catch-up without a wealth of emotions. Chastity reminds her father that she still has a sharp tongue, a feisty attitude, and has been looking after her health. She hasn't gained weight and is living her best life. In the end, she reminds her father that she loves him and misses him deeply. She then hits send. Although this text was a special message because it was the fourth anniversary of her father's death, she'd been sending her dad messages for the past four years. Throughout this time, she'd never received a response and why would she? Her father had passed away. 
However, it wasn't long after sending her long update that her phone vibrated with a reply. It was from her father's number. In that instant, Chastity was filled with both terror and hope. When the text message came through on the phone, Chastity jumped with excitement. In her heart of hearts, she knew that it was impossible for her father to have responded, but this didn't stop her from being hopeful. After opening the message, Chastity was flooded with disappointment to discover that the response was not from her father, but from a man named Brad. But who on earth was this strange man responding to her message? Luckily, Chastity didn't have to wonder who the mystery man was for very long, as he explained himself. Brad described how he'd been receiving Chastity's texts for the past four years and has even come to look forward to them. Chastity had no idea about the deep effect that her messages had on Brad, but he soon let her know by making an incredible confession that would forever change Chastity's life forever. In the same way that Chastity had lost half of her father-daughter duo, so had Brad except Brad had lost his daughter. Where Chastity had a hole in her life where her father once was, Brad had a hole that his daughter once filled. Brad had lost his daughter in a tragic car accident in August 2014 and had been struggling to come to terms with a loss. A year later, he started to receive messages from Chastity, thinking that she was talking to her dad. Little did Chastity know the deep effects these messages would have on Brad's life. Chastity started unintentionally messaging Brad during a time when he was at his lowest. He'd recently lost his daughter and was struggling with the grief that followed. Brad explains that whenever he receives a text message from Chastity, it feels as though he's receiving a sign from God. In fact, it's Chastity's messages that have kept him alive as a way of God reminding him that his daughter's death wasn't his fault. In this way, Brad describes Chastity as his guardian angel. Chastity was left in absolute shock by the response. If Brad had been receiving her messages for four years, why was he only responding now? Brad explains his reasoning in his message. The reason that Brad never responded was a selfless one. He didn't want to break Chastity's heart. He realized that messaging him was a coping mechanism for Chastity and, in a way, it kept him alive as well. But now he had something that he wanted to say to her. In parting, Brad encouraged Chastity by telling her how proud her father would be of her accomplishments in life and he reminds her that everything is going to be okay. He encourages her to shine the light that God gave her and push through the tough times. Although a stranger, Brad is proud of her and hopes that his daughter would have grown to be a wonderful woman like her. This serendipitous story is enough to bring tears to anyone's eyes, and we hope that it's brought a smile to your face.